Hello, my name is Dallas. I'm back with more God of War. In. What is this place? You are standing at the entrance to Evaldi's workshop. I'm back in Evaldi. Testament to the ingenuity of dwarven engineering. Why does it smell so bad? It's quite foul, isn't it? Well, that's a long story, but uh, quite simply, Evaldi messed with forces he shouldn't have, and you're breathing the consequences. Okay, so there's a couple other things I want to do. I found out it's actually really easy to farm the armor here. So I don't think I need any of those sockets, and let's so just finish up Sindri's talking points. Mist? No, no, Niflheim has always been a land of mist. And snow, endless snow, and, and wind, and, and ice. Really, it's never been a pleasant location. But Ivaldi found a way to harness all that frosty power, and built marvels that shocked the realms of both man and god. Wow. Yes. Wow. So then what happened? Hmm? After Ivaldi built all the marbles. Ah yes, well, Odin wasn't keen on the idea of dwarves building contraptions that challenge his power, so he intervened. Ivaldi was furious and retaliated. From there things escalated and well, here we are. Cursed mist. And this is why gods are best avoided. I didn't think we'd see you out here, since you and Brock got back together. Everything okay? Oh, better than ever. You know, I really think we've both grown in our years apart. So how come you're back here? Just catching some fresh air. Look, I love my brother, but he still smells like a fetid dung pile. So, I heard you and Brock are kind of famous. Well, you're half right. Whatever did you hear? That you made Thor's hammer. Oh, yes. We did do that. Mjolnir put us on the map. It was a legendary run. Gods and kings knew our brand. We really did make quite a team. So what happened? Oh, well, that's a long story. Things happened that made it difficult to... find that certain spark, you know? Inspiration is a fickle mistress. Huh? Oh, enough distractions. You see the mess I have to clean up around here? Okay, well, I think he's done talking. So now let's see what armors I can get. Hmm. I'm going more strength than the other ones, so this one I don't mind swapping it up a bit. So do I want runic defense? Or vitality and defense. I think vitality is one that I need. Okay, Evaldi's Curious of Endless Mist. And now the wrist um, Oh I'm I'm 14 mist echoes short. Okay, I'll just go grab the mist echoes really quick. The reason that I'm found out the armor is really easy to get is because the chest in the first area has a chance of dropping metal, which is the main thing needed to make the armor outside of echoes. Also, I already got the grip and the talisman. As I was saying, farming in this area isn't too bad as long as I can avoid groups that I'm not a great matchup for, like that one. Because I can easily get around a thousand mist echoes just for clearing the first group. And then I usually get metal and something else. And like I usually, I think it's just a metal that I get with it. 
that lets me craft any of the armor pieces to make the fights a bit easier. Okay. Let's swap out these guys. I also learned that well, it probably shouldn't take me so long. Uh, whenever I use Atheist's square attack, he uh, regenerates all his arrows instantly. Which is just kind of really nice because it makes sure to burn them before they're actually used. Before I actually use it. Oh no. Why did they keep you like that? That's, that's not fair. Get him. Get him. Okay. Now let me grab the last mystic. Okay. So the nice part about the grip is it restores a mist resistance every time I kill something. Which, given the way this area works out, is pretty much required. Because it pretty much directly cancels any time spent in combat unless it's just a really bad fight where I can't hit anything. And then I also find out it's almost always guaranteed that there's at least two chests after clearing the first area. Which is where it comes into like the nearly thousand mist echoes. And they're almost always on the path between the two open sections. Or they're right inside it, it's one of the two. So nothing else here, so I got all the chest on this side. So now I just gotta go to the other side. And grab the chest over there, and then I'll leave. There it is. I also did find out that there's a runic chest that occasionally appears in all that's really in it as mist echoes. I didn't see anything else drop from it that was really noteworthy. But now I'm gonna go craft that last piece of armor. The one downside is I think the talisman I got is kind of useless compared to the other ones outside of here. Like it's only good for this section, and even Seriously, then, it's kind of iffy be whether it's better than regular ones. Tears. Okay, so I need wrist armor. I'm going with that one. That looks amazing. There we go. And now, I need a lot of haze weave to upgrade it. Uh, haze weave is the only thing that can upgrade them. So let me switch off of my talisman. Uh, I kind of prefer the Char of Infinite Storms. And now resocket everything. I like the strength buff. And. Let's see. Defense when I take damage. Oh wait, let's... I can't remember the order I usually go. Ah. Uh, that seems like right. Okay, so now I'm done in Niflheim, so I'm gonna leave here. And go check out somewhere else. Apparently I missed a chest. Okay. So how far into this area am I actually? I'm 37% in. 
There's one favor, and I don't know what the other two things are, but I assume it's Realm Tears. And I think once I open up maybe the workshop chest, it'll give me some other option. But I'm all done here for now. I don't feel like farming anymore. And I've got my newly upgraded armor, so I might be ready to try out some realm tears if I really wanted to. So I think the best place for that to start while I'm here would be Alpine. areas that I haven't been to at all yet, which is kind of interesting. I'm wondering if they, how many of them are going to be relevant. A modest example of Odin's thirst for knowledge. The time he spent nine days a dead man, hung himself by the neck from Yggdrasil's branches, put his spear through his own side, and bled down into the Well of Destiny. He roamed the realms of the dead and plundered the world tree of its secrets, until I think quite rightly it got fed up with him and sent him back to the land of the living. Did I not mention he was barking mad? More Mimir Tales. The other best place to farm Realm Tears is definitely around the lake. <clears throat> what level am I actually? I want to check that. I'm up to almost like seven and a half. I assume once I upgrade all my gear, I'll be up to level 8, which I don't know if I've seen anything higher than. Been putzing around Nippelheim, have we? How can you tell? I'd recognize if all these stench of failure anywhere. Plus, you still got some mist on your shoes. Okay, is that all Brock had to say? I missed its gentle breeze and the sweet smell of honeysuckle and blood. Well, judging by the sky, the Light Elves are in control of the light this time. Explain. You see, the Light Elves and Dark Elves... ...are always fighting over the light. That part we know. But did you also know that control of the light has changed hands no less than 213 times? Really? It's true. Each side believes itself the rightful keepers of the light, and argue they're simply fighting for survival. But the fact of the matter is, the war has been going on so long, they don't know who they are without it. What does it say? Sir. What does it say? It's about the eternal war for the light. Do you think it'll stop now after what we did? Unlikely. Okay. So I have one realm tear, and then there's three things that I have no idea what they are. So I guess a good start. I assume. Focus up, boy. Uh, ravens would be my most immediate guess. Just finish him up. Glad I'm on your side. I, I don't know if my grip is better. Okay, it's not. I want to go back to that one. The shock damage chance. I wasn't sure if the one I had on was better based on stats or if it's just another good one for Nifl. It's a really good one for Nifelheim, actually, as I've mentioned earlier. Okay. No sign of any eyes of Odin or anything. Or if they are, I've just not been paying enough attention. 
Okay, let's take the boat and try to finish up the final realm encounter. Clear this up for me. Sparta of Fine means land of the Dark Elves, right? Right. But you said the Dark Elves have been here now for a really long time. And anyway, aren't dwarves supposed to be from Sparta of Fine? They don't look like Dark Elves. Don't you think so? Then you are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. They're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavalia. So the Dark Elves aren't from Svartalfheim at all? Not even a bit. They're just elves of another color. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. Why do they fight all the time if they're really the same? That is adorable. Huh? It is the way of the world. Oh. Well, that's sad. I wonder if there are any favors here that maybe the Light Elves will give me. Or should I just focus on the Realm Tear? I'm not actually sure what's what else is in this area now. So I know the easy. Because this is the only one that I have really explored in since I've completed the area. sections that I missed or if it was just this area okay, they're really weak by comparison to when I first came into them remotely fight back against me now. It's really satisfying actually. They hit me once. That's because I'm pretty much entirely focused on just the execution attack. Okay, Dust of Realms. Nothing else. I'm now halfway through all of those. And question is now, I guess, what else do I need to do here? Because I still got 16% of the area left. Is there any? There's no fast travel points. Or not really. I think that's a marked. Oh, I think that's a Valkyrie, probably. Because that definitely looks like a mirror or something there, sort of like one of the chisel sections. Let's go check out the main part of Alfheim first, and then I'll decide. Actually, I think that's in the water, so I might want to check that first. At least now I can say I'm done with the Realm Tear encounters, so now I guess it's just kind of exploring. Anything over here? Nothing noteworthy. So 
I can pull up to the dock here. I think I'm gonna do that. Freya's temple. The ring is just as beautiful as I'd remembered. Freya. A Vanir god. Freya's brother, actually. Freya has a long history with the elves. One of the few gods welcome here. Here. Boy. Yes, sir. Huh. Interesting. I may want to write that down. I almost forgot there's actually a treasure hunt here. That I can look into. Where was it? That's the wrong page. There it is. Okay. Which one was it? Oh, there it is. While we hail from Elfheim. The light elves make sure to watch over Midgard. I spend most of the time here at this outpost, and I will likely die. So there's some kind of outpost facing a large waterfall. Where there's treasure. And I'm wondering if that's like the light bridge there. So maybe I can get a clue from out here. It seems like a waterfall would be a pretty distinctive landmark, but I'm not actually sure where one is now that I think about it. But first, I could explore the interior of Alfheim a little bit, and if I really want to just get the hunt over with, I can just look it up. I'm not too worried about looking up treasure maps, because they're just kind of usually one item quests that give me something that I can use to upgrade. Okay. I don't actually know where I want to go here. Or if there's actually anything worth the while to do now that I am here. After what we did, giving control of the temple back to the light arms. Do you think the war is over? At least for a while? No, Atreus. The Dark Elves may have scattered for now, but some other will rise to lead them, and they will surely attack again. Freydia does right, son. I see. Is there actually any, uh way into the other parts of the temple, or is this just kind of a area that I shouldn't even worry about? Hmm. There is a shop in the Ring Temple. Oh yeah, that was out here though, I think. Like, I think I've gotten almost everything I can think of. Okay, there's the chest there, and that's all that was over here. I've already finished up the artifact set. Got the shrine. He doesn't have any favors. I'm. Yeah, I think it almost might be better for me to pause it and at least try to figure out what I'm missing. Just because I feel like I don't. I shouldn't be just wandering around this area hoping that I can see something that I blatantly missed. So that being said, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So there's a couple things I figured out. The 
treasure hunt is not actually in Alfheim. It's in the Lake of Nine, and it's referencing the Alfheim Tower. And the things that I'm missing here are actually... I'm missing the Valkyrie, I'm missing the Ravens, and there's a Mystic Gateway somewhere. Uh, so my main thing is... I want to figure out where, there's a, where those are, or at least I might want to check on the Valkyrie at the bare minimum. Just to see if it's a fight that I can even handle. Oh, hi. So these enemies are a bit stronger than I was expecting. And that's one down. Ow. chamber. Okay, so I'm probably gonna do maybe a quick attempt at the Valkyrie just to see what it's like and to try to grab some chests here. Six of seven hidden chambers. So now I've got some gear. So I kind of want to see how I'm doing. I don't actually know if I want to farm the ravens or not, or if that's something I should just do in my own time, because it's kind of a really boring section. It also doesn't help that, I mean, I'm only halfway through them and I don't actually know where a lot of them are, but I know that Alfheim has two Oh, like some treasure chests. Okay, and now it looks like I'm basically full health. Or if I do end up doing the ravens, then I think my idea is that I'm gonna start pretty much right at the first one and then just quickly rush over to the second because that's actually all I need in Alfheim is two ravens and the Valkyrie because that's the mystic gate right there that I needed so let's try out this fight let me guess there's a Valkyrie in here yep well are we going to fight her or just stare at her all day quiet head if you know what you're doing I'm doing a lot more damage to this one, it seems like. Ow. Oh no. I'm taking a lot less damage, too. This fight actually seems doable. I just have to remember the patterns. So I'm gonna try maybe one or two more times and if I can't get it then, then I'll maybe end. I might end this section. You know what you're doing. That's 
a lot of health. Up. Well, though, if I do say that, I should probably switch out my runic abilities. That's one thing I should have done. Because I need more single target focused. Uh, like that one's fine, that one's fine. This one is not. There we go. Okay. Hope you know what you're doing. close there okay I definitely can do this fight though I haven't really tried out my blade of chaos's ability so I may want to do that you know what you're doing to kill. Come on, get up, brother. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a break there, and I'm gonna start up the next one and try to finish the Valkyrie fight, and then I'll finally finish up all of Alfheim. So thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next part.